Hey y'all, it's Crystal. Thanks so much for coming by today. Uh, so today we're just gonna do another kind of 2022 wrap up video, but I really, I've been wanting to do this. I wanted to talk about some of the short stories and short story collections that I read last year, <clears throat> because I read a lot and, um, and a lot of them are really good. So um, I just kind of want to talk about them here. I'm kind of having the one spot. Um, if you're, you know, if you're at all interested in short stories, not everyone you know, likes short stories and that's fine, but I've just been really enjoying working my way through collections. And, um, you know, I read a story like a day-ish, you know, there'll, there'll be days I don't read one, but I just really, I just really, I'm really enjoying that. And um, uh, so, so, yeah, so yeah, basically let's just talk about some of the, some of the stories and collections I read this year that I really enjoyed and would really recommend if you're into short stories. <laughs> so I've got a little list of some things here to talk about. You know, some will just be the entire collection. Like you just need to read this entire collection <laughs> uh, because they're excellent. And that would be this first one, uh, which is uh, She Said Destroy by Nadia Bulkin. I enjoyed every every single story of this one like every single one <laughs> like every single one they were all super interesting and um i don't know some like really dark not necessarily all horror a lot of horror though or just dark you know kind of weird stuff <laughs> you know um but this was excellent but i did pick one particular out of here that i really really liked and that is called red goat black goat and i have my little post-it note from the original uh from my when i first read it and uh there's a goat nurse so chris goes to be a babysitter but the goat nurse has other ideas uh, this is very cultural and terrifying imagery so yeah this one is kind of folk horror folk horror vibes yeah, there's this like goat nurse <laughs> that's like you know like doesn't understand why this babysitter's been called in because like she takes care of the kids at this place um it is super weird really dark i loved it so but this whole, really the whole collection is fantastic so i would definitely recommend it um i mean everything is fantastic this was a five star short story collection like rarely happens just because you know it's a collection but i loved them all they were excellent so read this one for sure um i want to talk about the hay bale by priscilla bettis um this is an amazing another kind of folk horror story but it's an amazing story priscilla uh, if you're watching you write a hell of a story i loved it and um this one deals you know with loss and grief and um, it's just, it's just excellent. It's just excellent. I don't, I'm not going to say much else. You just, you gotta go read it. And the ending, I loved it. It was so good. Okay. Now let's talk about, let's talk about some Angela Carter. Yeah. The Bloody Chamber. Um, we did a group read with it. Who was this over? Uh, who do we, what do we read this with? Was it over, um, Juan's Discord? I can't remember now. <laughs> But a group of us read this together, and um, yeah, excellent. This is really good. I cannot believe I have not read this before now, but whoa, I'm so glad that I finally did. Uh, a lot of these are sort of like fairy tale and folk tale retellings, and um, you read just really good, just really, really good. Atmospheric, gothic. Oh, excellent, excellent, excellent. Do I have a favorite? I don't know. I mean, maybe the Bloody Chamber itself. That one was like really good. I did also like Puss in Boots because that one just was kind of more fun, you know? Like the character of Puss in Boots, you know? Um, the Company of Wolves was really good. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, they're all really, they're all really excellent. And so if you like, you know, gothic kind of you know, fairy tale, folk tale retellings, definitely recommend it. It was excellent. Another five star short story collection for me. Um, A Devil Dies Tonight by Jonathan Vick. This was an excellent story. Again, it's dealing with grief um, and follows the kid who like is connecting with something in his closet. Like it was really good. It's on, you can get it on Amazon. Uh, it's really good. Really, 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 really good. It's so, so, so good. Um, oh, I forgot this one downstairs, but Octavia Butler. I read Bloodchild and other stories. Oh my god. Bloodchild itself? 
maybe maybe my favorite short story ever maybe maybe that story that story is so good it is so so good if you like science fiction with like some gross stuff oh my god you gotta read these stories you gotta read blood child you gotta read it you gotta you gotta read it okay that's that's just all i'm gonna say because <laughs> Um, I'd like to mention, oh, Gardening by Rob Shepard. I have this short story. This was, this one was a lot of fun. So, uh, we've got these, like, these two neighbors and they kind of are like warring against each other over having the best garden. And, um, it gets a little out of hand, uh, and some violence ensues. And honestly, it's like really good. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. It's a really good story. Uh, I, uh, yeah, I recommend it. It is really good. Um, I read a lot of Sonora Taylor stories. No, I read a, <laughs> a handful of Sonora Taylor stories this year. Last year. It's last year now. Um, excellent. Oh my gosh. Sonora Taylor writes a hell of a story. Um, so I read Wither and other stories. Um, and then I read The Crow's Gift and other stories. And honestly, The Crow's Gift is an excellent, excellent story about this young uh, young kid who makes this connection with this crow and they, they you know the she starts kind of giving the crow food and then the crow starts giving bringing her little gifts and this uh, this little girl is being bullied and the crow um, maybe helps her out with that it's so good it's so good Sonora Taylor I've, I'm, I'm gonna read more this year by Sonora Taylor because I'm now a huge fan I love it I love it Okay, let's talk about some Dorothy Allison. I read Trash this year. Really excellent collection. Um, Dorothy Allison, you know, so Southern, you know, Southern writer. Uh, she's from South Carolina, I think. And um, uh, she's, a, she's a gay woman, so there's a lot of, you know, queer queer stuff going on here, too. Um, just really excellent. Really excellent. A lot of stuff about family, uh, family trauma. Um, you know family that are always very good and what that can what that can mean you know love and loss and all that kind of there's lots of things about food in here um like southern food in particular uh, this sort of comfort of the southern food and and what that you know all that kind of good stuff um do i have a favorite um i don't know i've marked several of these in here but they're all they're all really excellent, honestly. But you know, Mama, I remember being really good. Um, just Mama, right? So she's in, she's, um, yeah, talking about her mom. A lot of just family, family type stories in here, uh, but they're not always pleasant. Um, you know, if you've read *Bastard Out of Carolina*, I mean, you know, <laughs> Dorothy Ellison doesn't shy away from the, re you know, the real things that happen in families sometimes that aren't, you know, that aren't good. Um, I really, I really enjoyed this collection. So, uh, yeah, Dorothy Allison's Trash would definitely recommend if you're looking for some some southern, uh, some southern writing. What else? Oh, I uh, did read uh, Wilderness Tips, also by Margaret Atwood last year. Uh, this was a pretty solid collection. Um, what did I like the best? I really liked um, this book, this story called um, Hairball. It's about a woman, uh, about a woman and, and her hairball, and um, it would, and uh, I, that's all. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> uh, but there were there were a lot. I liked uh, many of the stories in here too. Um, there was one called uh, Yeah True Trash. Yeah True Trash. I really liked. Um, the Bog Man was good. I remember that one too. Yeah. So yeah. Um, if you'd like to try um, Atwood stories, I does say definitely give them give, give them a go. If you like some of her longer works, um, she she does really well with short fiction. I'll say, and I liked this collection, and I'm definitely gonna read more Atwood short stories this year. I've got several. I've got several of her short story collections. So, yeah, definitely, 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 definitely gonna get to more of those. Okay, another story that really, really knocked me 
just like blew me away was Crows in the Garden by S.R. Miller. This is a slightly longer story, um, but whoa, this was so good. There's this woman who makes this like kind of another kind of crow story, makes this connection with this crow. And it is really, it's really wonderful. And it just, it turns like really dark by the end. And it's just folk horror type vibes also. Oh, excellent. It is excellent. It is excellent. You've got to read it. You gotta read it. Also, Men, Women, and Chainsaws by Stephen Graham Jones. Um, this was wonderful. I really liked this one. We're following a woman who, um, you know, recently got like broke up with her, her boyfriend. Um, she really loves like slasher movies, hence the Men, Women, and Chainsaws, right? Uh, but she finds out that this this ex has like, you know basically cheated on her stuff. So she kind of seeks out revenge uh, with some like nods and winks to like some slasher movies that they've enjoyed in the past. Um, yeah, well, I think particularly uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. Um, yeah, it was really, really good. Really good. Really, 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 really. Yeah. So, so, so good. Okay, so during June on the Range, of course, I dove into Annie Pree's Close Range. Um, uh, so Wyoming Stories number one. These are so good. Annie Prue, whoa, can write a hell of a story. If you want a sense of place, if you want to like feel Wyoming and like, yeah, these stories are excellent. Gorgeous writing. She, oh, beautiful, beautiful writing. Super interesting characters throughout a lot of these stories. And again, just the sense of place. Um, really, um, just really like sets, sets the, the place for these stories. And a lot of times they deal with, um, again, family, you know, familial stories or like working on the range or being a rodeo, uh, like being a rodeo cowboy, um, uh, working like a farm, you know, like I said, like ranching. Um, yeah, a lot of that's in here too. Um, the struggle of that kind of work, you know, that kind of life. Um, yeah, just really good stuff. So, of course, uh, Brokeback Mountain, the story of Brokeback Mountain is in here and it's excellent. It's excellent. Honestly, like I love Brokeback Mountain the movie, and having now have read the story, I'm just like, <laughs> Ennis Del Mar. Oh my God, I just I love him as a character so much. So Brokeback Mountain is excellent, but I also um, there's this story, the very first story, the half skinned deer, which has some, some, some little horror elements actually to it. So um, I would definitely recommend it to my horror friends. Um, to check out if you just read Half Skinned Steer from this collection because it was really, really good. Um, but yeah, this was just, this was just amazing and um, so good. Highly recommend it. Really just gore gorgeous writing. Loved it. All right. Let's talk about the entire collection too for Mists and Megaliths by Catherine McCarthy. Okay, now if you like gothic, very atmospheric uh, type stories with very kind of female centered characters, um, these, is the, these are the stories for you. You gotta read these stories. They are really, really, really good. There was this one, um, there's this one that has a connection to like, um, this kind of like sea monster and it was really good the whole collection honestly was was it was really good so definitely i also really liked the entire collection the uh the tales of the baba yaga anthology that i read called into the forest um that was really good i've liked a lot of those stories if you are into baba yaga stories um or the baba yaga lore um, then you gotta read. You gotta read those stories. They're really good. A lot, a lot of you know, come that come at. A lot of the authors came from like a feminist perspective, but then it's just because it's Baba Yagi, a lot of witchy vibes. Um, really, really excellent, excellent collection. Excellent, excellent collection. And then of course there's Poking Holes by our own Juan Valencia. Uh, I don't think I've actually talked about this book since I finished it because. I think it was kind of just a weird timing thing with videos or something. I don't think I ever I talked about it. I read this and absolutely loved it, uh, like everyone else. I mean, yeah, it's an excellent, excellent collection. And what is my favorite? I mean, I don't know. I really, you know, I liked, I liked a lot of them for different reasons. Um, much like you know, Andrew over at It Came From The Page, I also really loved The Goose. I thought that was a really sweet story. 
even though it's told with a, you know, a kind of dark edge to it with this goose, you know, coming into this man's hospital room. But, um, but I thought it was a really sweet story. You know, he's reminiscing about love and um, the loss of love. And so it has a bitter, you know, bitter sweetness to it. Um, he's also, you know, he's a man that he knows he's at the end of his life. And I don't know, like, it was really good. Um, I know people talk about user a lot. Yeah, that was a hell of a story. Ooh, that one, yeah. Uh, one that also I really liked um, was, uh, what was it called? Oh, In a Hot Car. In a Hot Car was also just, oh man. Uh, that was so, oh my God. That one was tragic, you know. This, this kid is, you know, he's basically stuck in a car. He's being, um, he's, try, he's from Mexico, trying to, you know, get tra you know transported to the states and he's just the, he the other people in the in the car just left on the side of the road it gets hot it oh it's very very sad <laughs> it's really sad um but that one was really powerful so, but all of these are good but yeah they're dark places uh, some of them quite disturbing um but excellent 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 collection so uh you gotta read you know you really should read them all but uh, I think those two um, are ones that really stood out for me in particular. So, yeah, loved it. And let's end with uh, The Paper Menagerie, another story. This is by Ken Liu. Um, I still haven't actually finished this this yet, uh, but I, I, uh, I made pretty good progress. Um, ex excellent science fiction stories. Um, I mean, excellent. I just I can't even mind-blowing kind of things in here. Ken Liu's writing is just like a whole, a whole nother level. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, ones that I really liked, I liked this one called State Change. Um, and in this, in this sort of like world, people's souls are like, are like an object, you know? Uh, and you have to kind of like protect them and take them around with you. And our main character in here, Rena, her soul is an ice cube. So like, can you imagine like your soul being an ice cube? Like at any time it could melt and you like, and I just, the thought of that, just like, it kind of blew my mind. <laughs> it like kind of blew my mind. Um, that was excellent. But uh, my favorite story that I read, um, let me find it. What, hold on. I think it was this one. The Little Romancer, is that the one? Yes. Um, this takes place in um, like pre 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 Vietnam War time, and we've got this kind of American couple. He kind of works for the government, but he's they're like living in Vietnam, um, and he's you know he's things are starting to kind of like start with you know the war, um, and he's kind of like invest you know trying to see what's going on and like who's a who's on the bad side, who's on the good side kind of thing. Uh, he's there with his family and his daughter and he's going to school and stuff, but um, it, um, you know, she, the, the daughter makes this connection with this kind of older Vietnamese man uh, um, through, through this other kid that she meets, who's like his grandfather, and um, they kind of kiss up, get this relationship, and basically her father is using this relationship and um, for his own means, and oh my god, the ending is a gut punch oh my god it is so sad it is so sad if you want a sad story read state chain or read um the little romancer by i can't live because it will make you cry um it is so good um and also uh the paper menagerie the title story is another sad story it is about there's a chinese mother who makes paper animals for her 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 um her son and we follow this son as he gets older and he is like trying to kind of you know forget his Chinese heritage and um, he, he rejecting that he's not interested in you know these paper animals and these paper animals were amazing they kind of come to life and everything and it's just a sadness because this mom is just I don't know, another sad one oh my god it's so good though so honestly Honestly, the, yeah, these are food for thought stories. They really get your brain churning. Um, 
a lot of them were science fiction, but not all. They were, a lot of some were just kind of you know, human stories, you know. Um, but they're just told wonderfully, wonderfully. And I, I definitely I need to finish the rest of these this year for sure because whoa. Um, there are also some like novella length. Like the next one here is like a novella. So I think that's why I stopped because <laughs> um, I wasn't quite ready to dig into it like a novella, I guess. But anyway, uh, this, uh, yeah, absolutely worth your time. Uh, so we'll end it with that. These, I mean, I had a, just a really excellent year with short stories. And I just, like I said, I love just kind of making my way slowly through these. I don't, I don't rush them. Like, I, you know, I, I read, you know, about one a day and I just take my time. And I just, I think I, that allows me to really sit with the story and, um, and kind of, you know, interpret it my own way or just, you know, see what it's about or how I really feel about it, you know. And, um, and I just, I just enjoy that. So, so let me know, do you like short fiction? I know not everyone, you know, it's not everyone's jam, but, but yeah, I'm just really enjoying it. And I can't wait to see what, you know, short stories I get into this year. And let me know like some awesome like short story collections or uh, sort of awesome short stories that you, that I, I need to read because um, of course I'm always looking for more. So, uh, so yeah, I'm going to leave it here. Thanks so much for watching. And, you know, I always appreciate your time that you spend with me. It is so appreciated. And until next time, friends.